What's good everybody? It's your girl Joanne Gray and I'm back today with another wig review. Now I have been avoiding the beauty supply stores for the past six months. I went in a month ago and got that last wig that I showed you all and I decided to go into my favorite beauty supply store which I have not gone in in six months and I found three wigs that I'm going to be showing you over the course of the next week or two and as well I did a little hauling of earrings so I picked up about 10 pair of earrings and a few rings and so I'm going to do a haul on that for you but right now I want to show you this wig it is a comb free wig from Vanessa it's called Teppy and Teppy is a shorty do it's a new wig I believe a shorty do but it has a curly fringe on the top so it's almost like a long mohawky or asymmetrical deal. I'm going to put it on for you and show you what the wig looks like and hopefully it's to your liking. If I can locate it online I will certainly put a link below as well. If I can't find it online I will put in the link for VanessaHair.com and you can contact them and ask them where to find this wig in your area and they should get back to you within the day. They're really good about that. I'm not sure about this holiday time though as well. Happy Thanksgiving to you all and God bless you. Let's begin this review. Okay. Again, this is a comb free wig so you should not need any combs for it. It comes with no combs and we shouldn't have to do a whole lot to it. I bought it because of the uniqueness of it. I bought it in the color 1B. Okay, I'm going to put the wig on and we're going to uh, see how to style it. I just took it out of the packaging. I have not uh, tried it on yet. It has a regular wig cap wefting and Vanessa logo on the inside. So it just kind of goes on like so. You arrange it. If you are new to wigs, you make sure you run your hand along the back of the wig and along the perimeter of the wig to make sure that all the hair is out. Pull your sideburns down. You just take a look at them and figure out what you're going to do with them. Position it on your head. Line up your ear tabs. But the goal for sure is to run your hand along the band and the ridge of the wig to make sure that you pull all the hair out that's supposed to be out for styling. Now for me this wig has a lot of sideburns. Um, they're not necessarily too long but they're full so I have first checked to see if I can just take the wig and I mean the sideburns and just pull them behind my ear seamlessly and if I can do that then I'll leave them. Um, this little portion of the sideburn here curls up a little bit so I may be able to keep it. So I'm going to pull back as much of it as I can and then try to style the wig without having to use scissors at all. I'm going to try. Okay, so you smooth it back. And then this side of the sideburns are pretty long. I'm going to tuck them behind my ear. and leave out what I can without making the wig look pretty strange. Smooth all the hair out in the back. And then kind of go from there. Next we've got this bang section here. So I'm going to pull it up your wig should go right where your hairline is. So I'm just kind of pull the wig up where my hairline is. And then you've got this little fringe area in the front. Take my little wig brush and pull all that hair forward. And then just kind of decide what I'm going to do with it. So. lift my mirror up. It's kind of low. Okay. Alright. So this is a teppy wig. 
kind of mohawkish, but but not. And then you take the front of this wig. I always, without fail, just wet wet the wig with a little water. Always use water on my wigs. It, to me, it just doesn't work out for me to dry style my wigs. This is a just a regular full wig, a regular full wig that um, you cannot apply heat to. So it's just a regular synthetic. Pretty much I think this is at best what you're going to be able to do with this wig. Then you just take your fringe portions of the wig and just kind of style it up to your liking. If you would like, you can clip them. I'm not going to clip them now because um, this is just kind of dry styling on the camera. I would do more to this in the mirror first and be able to look around the back of my hair before doing any cutting. So I'm not going to do any cutting right now to the wig. But I think it's pretty neat. I think it's an attention getter and it certainly will be an eye catcher. And I imagine that um, this wig comes in um, different colors in the front. What I'm going to do is use my temporary hair color. This is going to be Jerome Russell's Honey Blonde, which is my favorite. And just spray a little bit in the bang. Just a little frosty, frosty tips there. Kind of break up this 1B and leave the rest of the wig 1B. And I think this turns out pretty cute. Now for hair in this fringe, if you like to keep it, just use some hairspray and it will stay. Pull this down just a little bit. So, anyway, I think this is pretty cute. Again, this is the Teppy wig. T-E-P-P-Y in a 1B. I bought it from my local beauty supply store. As with all wigs, they run in the $29 range. So that is what I spent for this one. I think it's very pretty. I think you can dress this one up and, and go anywhere with it. And it's only going to get better with time. This is a right out of the box wig. Hope you all like it. Thank you for your time and energy, and I will be back later with another wig review. God bless. For those of you who are curious about the makeup look, I'm going to get a little closer so you can take a look at it. Hopefully it comes out. The eyelashes are from I Envy, Kiss I Envy, they're Hollywood number 02. They are KPE 37, KPE 37, Hollywood number 2 lashes. They have the little winged out tip. The eyeshadow is from the rack. This is the box. This is uh, the Rack Multiplex 3D eyeshadow palette. And this is what it looks like on the inside.
and I use those colors that look like they've been used. I use the silver color. I use the silver oh shoot. Shut, shut. I use the silver color in my inner corner. I use this bronzy gold color right in the center of the eye and then on the outer corner of the eye I use that iridescent color there. This I purchased from the Holt Look sale a couple of few weeks ago. It was very inexpensive. So I was very fortunate to get in on this palette. The colors look really nice in this and it wasn't expensive at all. For my lip gloss, I'm using Muse. Muse is a Lux lip gloss from Rock and Republic. Of course, I purchased the lip gloss from Hope Look. These um, lip gloss were originally like in the $18 range. I probably spent $3 on it. It's long lasting and it's really nice. Let's see. The wig, of course, is the Teppy wig in a 1B, which I sprayed with Jerome Russell's Temporary Hair Color in the color Honey Blonde. The earrings were $1. I purchased them from the local beauty supply store. These are going to be part of my haul from the beauty supply store. I think these were lovely. I have been missing out. They had so many earrings that were like really long. I just picked up 10 pair. I, I just I went overboard as it was with my purchases. So I left a lot of the things there, but they had gorgeous earrings that were long because I really love the ornamental type of earrings. Um, let's see. I think that's it. Okay, my eyeliner. I use the Urban Decay Liquid Liner. They have these on sale right now for $5 over at Urban Decay. I think I purchased these for 3 or $5 at a Hope Look sale. Um, this one is Oil Slick. I also use the purple, and I'm not sure what you call the purple color. It does have a name, but again, over at UrbanDecay.com, they have some items that are on sale, and some of the things are 2 3 and $5, so you might want to go over there and check that out if you have not done that before. Um, let's see, I think that is everything for this particular video. I want to thank you all again for your time and energy, and God bless you, and happy Thanksgiving! So my love is strong, Hey, 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 hey. Big dibs on the